for the lovely and talented Piers Morgan. Thank you, sir. Right, chaps. What's Take up, Piers seat. Morgan? Chaps. We're chaps today. <laughs> Look what's going on behind you. That's that's five thousand dollars worth of quarters on the floor, sir. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is that my fee? Yes. Well, yeah, there you is go. that your fee? <laughs> you had to like take care of some business before you yeah. came in here today. I was just yeah. chewing uh, how it's done a new one. Nothing, no, no biggie. Oh, really? Yeah. What, I heard you guys were buddy there? buddies over there. We were pretty patty uh, we, over there. We, we he was got, at the warm up for the main grilling here. We got, we got, <laughs> we got reports that you guys were buddy, uh, buddy over there. It was pretty. It was actually surprisingly friendly. Yeah. You got to go back on that show. But, well, I said to him, what we should really have is me. Howard and Alex Jones, you know, the, the oh, disc God. jockey. Let me tell you something. Yeah, 1776 <laughs> is where you're going back to. <laughs> That's uh, what we need to do. <laughs> you know, the, uh... I, I saw that one. That was pretty fun. I, yeah. That debate well, uh, you guys had. It was, it was really calm. It was really respectable back and forth. It was great. <laughs> it was great TV. I want you back in America's Got Talent. Yeah. For real. Because I don't watch you. the show anymore. and Because uh, you were way better. I, just went, I, I ran out of words to tell people they suck. Right. <laughs> you had it with that show? Well, I did six seasons in America, and I did four of the British Britain's Got Talent. And it just comes a point when you can't think of anything new to say right. about somebody's murdering, you know, raise me up. Right. You just you try, but you raise me up. Oh, God <laughs> sake, give me strength, you know. Piers, now we had a little thing. Yes. And we're going to have some more things today. Good. I actually like watching you. I really do, because you do, you do fucking tackle some tough fucking subjects. But it frustrated me that you don't acknowledge the media and, and their responsibility in these, these school shootings. Yeah, but I do. I do acknowledge but, some but responsibility. Have you, have you talked about it on the show? Yeah, but see, I don't agree with your central premise, because if you take your argument to its logical extension, then the media would never cover any mass shootings at all. That is a problem, and I agree with you there. And you can't have a situation but, where you just simply don't report bad news because you think it may encourage other people to do it. But I think it's the way you guys do it, and show his face a million fucking times, and there's yep. a slick graphic, and it's the music, and the guy looks like almost like a rock star when Absolutely. you see that on TV. I think it's an inescapable uh, way of... Doing these stories, you can't ignore the person that's committed the crime. Right. Okay. If you go back through history, why is it inescapable though? Like what Oprah just said, I'm not to because you, but I, I, it's the it way it's pushed forward. Because I think is thing. where we have because the problem. Here's the thing. I, I, it's funny. Anderson Cooper at CNN would agree with you. He often doesn't like naming the names of the right. shooters. I have a different view. I come from a British newspaper background. I right. think that you need to find out every spit and cough of these people. I want to know everything about them. I want to know what triggered the thought process to go into a school or a movie theater and slaughter dozens of Americans. And if it means you have to show their picture repeatedly so that some people watch and go, I know that guy. I remember him. He, I remember that guy in an incident on the beach in, you know, 1986. It's worth it. Now, it's a necessary do, evil, do you, in my view. Do you think they'll, uh, that'll push other people to do ex exactly the same thing? Though? You never know. I the mean, FBI profilers have said yes. There's certainly said a yes. You cannot rule out that there is a danger of copycats doing But I would that. love to have you have, you would have, a, I would love for you to have a discussion We're on this on your it. show. That's why I'm on here. Your, but on your show. I came into the lion's den nah, to have this very debate. We're easy, actually. The press really does refuse to truly, like, you're, you're acknowledging it because you're smart and we're talking about it, but they, 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 to them, the payoff on people watching what they're doing is much more important than the absolute uh, risk of it encouraging other people because they're, they, they okay, do well, that okay, for that fine. reason. It's easy to say, but what would you do if you were covering you cover on CNN? What would you cover? Uh, what I cover is like when there's something like a shooting. It's mm -hmm. absolute news. You have to cover right. it. It's a real story. And you name the guy? Of course you do. You show his picture? Uh, maybe for the first day, sure, because it is a part of the story. We're not talking about don't cover. So what, what don't you do? It's when it begins uh, to go into the second day where it's all that nonsense about why did he do it. He did it because what? he's, I'll tell you why, he's He's crazy. So That's you, why so he you, did it. So I'm you, not interested. Do you have it? Let me ask you. You're not interested in finding no. out why people commit mass shootings? When shootings? there's a rape. Maybe that's why there are so many oh, in this oh, country. Oh, let me ask you. Not Pierce. enough no, no. people do care when enough. When there's a rape, do you guys say, why did he do it? You don't care why he did it. He's a rapist mm. and he's an animal. Nobody says about a rapist or a child molester, why did he molest those children? No, I can't have this because here's why I can't have this. Because sometimes the trigger may be violent video games, right? Which 99% of the people that play them, and we know this from statistical evidence, it has no problem or no effect on. But there, no one can tell me, given the pattern of mass shooters in America in recent years, that there is negligible or zero connection but, between somebody like Adam Lanza sitting in his little lair, right. watching you know these horrific violent video games all day long, oh. anesthetizing himself to, to mass killings. It has to play a Wait. tiny part. I don't think it's a big part. Okay, let me go I with that. I think it doesn't hold on, help. Hold on, let me you see. He might be 
connected to violent videos and but some form of mental health problem. The next mass shooter might have an entirely different thing. He may have been abused as a kid or whatever it may be. But you have to get to the bottom all right, of Pierce, what triggers Pierce, all right, each of these all right, mass shootings. All right, but the violent video game angle, okay? What is it about... Do you think it has oh. zero impact, seriously, to anybody in the world? I don't ever? know if it's zero, but I think it's so minuscule that it's it's not even on a fucking... Uh, it should be on anyone's radar. It, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got, a second, I got a second point, and then let's go with this. <laughs> so the rest of the world plays violent video games, so yep. why aren't they Why aren't they in the same situation with all these mass shootings? Well, the rest of the world doesn't have the gun availability that America has. Oh, now yes, you got do. him. Uh, well, they don't. Now you got I his think attention. They do. well, there are some countries that have a, a lot more guns than the United States. Where do you name one? Uh, Afghanistan. Has more guns than the United States of America? Ab absolutely. Do you know how many guns you've got in America? Uh, yeah, probably one or two for uh, one and a half Do you know the total? Person. One and a half per person. You've got 305 million guns in circulation, according to the latest <laughs> yeah. reports. Do you think there's more than that in Afghanistan? Probably. Have you ever been to Afghanistan? No. Let me reassure you. I know you. there's a war there going are not, on there. There are not 300 million guns in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Let me reassure you. Or anywhere near it. America has the highest volume of guns of any country in the world. And let me spell out some more statistics mm -hmm. for you about guns. Yeah. I come from Great Britain. As you know, right? Mm -hmm. My accent has annoyed you numerous times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you this, though. Here, here's where I have a real issue with the, the, gun, capita, the gun rights okay. people. Well, let's get into uh, per sure. capita. The British uh, population is about 60 million. Mm -hmm. America's is 315 million. Okay, yeah. so you're about five times the size of my country. We have 35 gun murders a year. Mm -hmm. You have 11 to 12,000. Right. And unless I'm wrong, five times 35 is not 11 to 12,000, right? I, I understand. So do you accept as a country that you have an unacceptable level of gun death and violence? It's a lot of gun death and, is it unacceptable and, and violence. Uh, to I, you? Well, any gun death would be uh, any uh, uh, un, unnecessary or um, unjust gun death. So what do you do about would it? Be. What do you do about it? Yeah. Um, well, maybe we should curtail some of the gang problems that make up more than half of those stats. Do you think selling assault country. rifles in Walmart is a good idea? Do you? Uh, well, assault rifles aren't even used in, in most of the crimes that you're talking about. Actually, they've about. been used in 95% of the mass shootings in America mass since I've been here. There haven't been many mass shootings. Mass shootings don't matter to you? No, they do matter. But as far as statistics go, Sandy it's, it Hook. doesn't... AR-15. Aurora, AR-15. Personally, right. Personally. Why are they using AR-15? And emotionally, it's very, um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on people to uh, look at assault rifles like you are. But Why does a civilian need assault rifles? Tell me. Why do you think the police need them? Because they're police. Because they're police. That's not an answer. Yeah, the Pierce. police and military. If I want to protect my home, yeah. as good as the police need to protect themselves mm. and the general public, why don't I have the right to do why that? Why don't you use tanks? Uh, because those are, you know, you got to have some type of So balance. you need restrictions. Uh, there are restrictions. Right. Piers, why are there restrictions? Because the Supreme Court said with the Second Amendment ruling in 2008 mm -hmm. or nine, whatever it was, they said there needs to be reasonable restrictions, right? My argument is not about taking anybody's now guns away. Now it's unreasonable. Away. I have never asked for any confiscation of any gun. No, right? confiscation is one thing. Nor elimination I, is another. Let me finish. Do you know I can't buy an AR-15 here in New York anymore? Right, good. I'm not allowed to. No, not good. good. They Why took, not good? They took my guns away. Why do you want an AR-15 Because, like rifle? I said, I want to protect my house as well as the police hmm. uh, protect uh, their... their uh, uh, jurisdiction, their precincts, the people that they protect. When they show up to a shooter mm. in a school, let's say, they show up. They don't show up with a, a pistol, a 9 millimeter. Mm. Uh, they show up with an assault rifle, mm. as they're called. How would you protect your schools? How would I protect my schools? Mm. I think uh, armed citizens are a, a great deterrent. Every teacher? To uh, Not every teacher. I think how especially many, how many in a school. You arm? I think in a school, you would arm people that have gone through proper training mm -hmm. and psychological profile, much like a police officer would have to, that type of thing. But an armed citizen. Where would you put the guns? Uh, you could put them on the, on the teacher, a concealed a uh, carry so wait a minute, wait a weapon minute. on My a child, teacher. I've got four kids. Uh -huh. my, my youngest is, is nearly two. Sure. When she goes to an elementary school, uh -huh. I'm sending my child into an elementary school where half the teachers are wandering around packed with heat. Not half the teachers. How however many? many? However many. How many do you want? However many are responsible mm -hmm. and have taken uh, whatever training they need to safely use What happens use if they drop their gun and one of the children picks it up and shoots one of their other children? 
Uh, well, that's very irresponsible, I'd say. And that could happen with... Do you know how uh, many people uh, uh, accidentally shoot people in America every single day? Yeah. Do you know how many kids it's, it's, in the last two months alone have killed other kids because adults have been irresponsible. Yeah, it's yeah, less you want to than arm drown in backyard adults. pools, Piers. So it's what? less it's just so than what is what? It's just yeah, less you than see, dying. You, you blow off other stats as so what, and then your stats are the important ones that you want be to at. liken the deaths in swimming pools from accidental drowning I just want to, say you to can't, the deaths in schools from assault rifles. You can't are look you really not being that facile? Not assault rifles. First of all, let's separate the assault rifle which is barely used in crimes. Apart from the last and seven of nine mass shootings in mass America. Mass shootings. Add up the gang violence that yeah. has killed tens of thousands sure. uh, with, with uh, handguns, sure. illegal handguns in Chicago, Detroit, New York, L.A. Massive problem, too. Not massive problem, too. Much bigger problem than assault weapons in schools. You may think that 20 kids being killed in elementary I school never said is that, not as Piers. important as gang we're, violence if we're in talking Chicago. Numbers, I don't agree with if, you. If we're taking, talking numbers, let's take the cherubish faces out of the whole thing and just talk numbers. Now, let's keep the cherubish faces in this thing. Let me tell you why. Why? It, let me explain. And they're more important than the uh, young you black me, faces you give, in inner you, cities that are be being so uh, shot every weekend? Now you're sounding ridiculous. No, I'm not. I'm Try sounding like a logical human being. No, let's hear Piers out. Why don't you let me have my say about why I feel strongly about the mass shooting situation? All right. So in Britain in 1996, there was a massacre in Dunblane in Scotland. Sixteen five-year-old children were murdered by gunmen. As a result, Britain came together, left and right. It was never a partisan debate, never conservative v. liberal over guns. The media came together, driven by the paper that I was editor-in-chief of. The public came together and said, we cannot have this happening in our society. We banned all assault rifles, all assault weapons, all handguns. Since that day, there hasn't been a single school shooting in Britain. Since that day, there's been one mass shooting by some loner uh, who killed about eight, nine people. Other than that, zero mass shootings. We have 35 gun murders a day. You'll have that many today exactly. and tomorrow in a America. A year, you mean? You, but a year. A year uh, you win yeah. 35 a year. You have that many a day. Australia, the same year, 96, in uh, Port Arthur in Tasmania, had uh, a massacre of 36 people killed. And they also banned all assault weapons and numerous handguns. Mm -hmm. They haven't had, having had a series of mass shootings, they haven't had a single mass shooting since 96 in Australia. No, but they have a lot of home invasions. Here's my, here's my other point. Here's my other point. Yeah. You look at Japan, Germany, Britain, Australia. You wouldn't find four countries which have a greater history of gun violence in the world than those four countries, mm -hmm. right? Other than America. The only one of all those countries which has never dealt with gun violence is America. And in fact, it's getting worse because there are ever more guns in circulation. They're ever more powerful. They can kill ever more people in one go. And here's why I say that. The, the Sandy Hook shooting was the single worst single shooting of people in a school in American history. The Aurora movie theater massacre was the single highest volume of people, Americans, hit by one person in a civilian mass shooting in American history. These things are getting worse and bigger and the scale more dramatic. What will it take before eventually there can be a reasonable debate, and I mean reasonable, in America about how you try and reduce mass shootings, gang violence, and general accidental death by They're guns. They're different subjects. You can't just blame It all the comes hardware. down to the gun. No, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. Because it, in countries like Britain, Germany, Japan, and Australia, where they have basically removed guns, there is no gun Britain crime and no gun of, death. Britain, first of all, per capita, of course, we got to look at the population It's a fifth of the size of America. I, I understand, but it has a So what much, do you mean per it capita? Has, I'm saying per capita, it has a higher violent crime rate than the United States. You really believe that? Yes, I do. It's statistic you ever been to Britain? Uh, no, I haven't, but I know statistically... You believe Britain is a more violent country than America? More violent crimes. This assaults. Is the problem. This is the problem, assaults with the, this is the problem with the debate in this country. It's so ludicrous. Of course it doesn't. It's not ludicrous. And, and, and the bottom line of the whole thing is... I don't is, think you even believe that. Well, what are the stats? Are you both saying ludicrous? What well, are the I stats? Well, I, don't, I, mean, I, don't, I, don't, know? I don't have them you off know? the top me, of my head. Let me, let me spell out for you about Britain. So the, mm -hmm. It's in perspective. It's not about me telling Americans how to lead their lives. Britain has appalling records on things like teenage knife crime, right? Mm -hmm. Teenage obesity, underage pregnancies, um, general yobbery and disrespect and stuff like that. I feel very exercised about all those issues in my country. But the one thing we got right, and which I think is particularly relevant to America, is gun violence. And I say to you guys again, 
I don't want to grab anybody's gun. I don't want to take anybody's gun away. I'm talking about going forward. What type of guns do you think should come as they get ever more powerful and militarized? At what point does reasonable restrictions mean you can't go to a Walmart in many cities in America where I can't buy a Kinder Surprise egg because the little to- toys inside the chocolate may choke me? Mm-hmm. I can't buy six packets of Sudafed because I might be building some illegal pharmacy. I can't buy French cheese because of the bacterial threat to my life. Uh-huh. But instead of those, I can buy an AR-15 assault rifle and then get on the internet, order 6,000 rounds of ammunition and go and shoot up a school or movie theater. At what point does America wake up and say we have to be doing more to protect lives? That's my only question. We we have to do more to uh, weed out the people that are insane. But you don't even allow background have- checks. The Senate refused to even pass background checks. 40% of all gun trades in America have no background check. That means you can be mentally insane and or criminal and buy any gun you like why would anyone be opposed to a hundred percent universal background checks? i don't think a lot Explain of people are opposed me. in new york no 90 percent of americans to, supported it i have the to uh, throw it out i have to go through background checks whenever i buy a weapon here in new why york why do you think gun crime in and new york is plummeting I to think, record lows because the nypd does a great job yes with the gangs right around here which are which a is a huge why, problem i agree with gun violence but michael bloomberg gun my Michael Bloomberg and Rudy Giuliani and other mayors in this city took it on head on. And Chicago's problem is as much to do with not as good law enforcement. They're not as enforcing the laws that are in place. That's I agree what I'm with saying. You. I agree they, with you. Well, that's what I'm saying. The laws that are in place should be taken care of. Going after legal, law abiding gun owners in this country is not the, the, the thing that to, to, to did, do. Why it's did, not going to help lower any crimes. Well, of course it is. No, Adam, it's not. Let me give you an example of legal gun owners. Uh huh. Adam Lanza's mother. Was a legal uh, gun. The most irresponsible woman with uh, her guns. With with legally owning a gun comes great responsibility. Right. That's the thing. Education, right. uh, uh, training, things like that. You know like why that. she bought them? You can't just. You know why she had six weapons, including an AR-15? I hear she was some type of a survivalist and liked having doomsday a prepper. doomsday Not really. she prepper. Just, she, just, or, uh, she was an NRA member, uh, and she just believed that actually uh, the NRA were right. If you arm yourself, you will protect yourself. Uh-huh. Unfortunately. She had a crazed son exactly. with an addiction to violent video games, a loner, well, a misfit. That's a little. It, it may be. It may be of zero relevance, or maybe it's not. We don't actually know. Here, some nut could look at a Monet and think, "I got to kill somebody now." Yeah, it's because they're crazy. You can't look at the video game at, at the hardware used, the gun, the this, the that. Let's look at the actual problem. What happened after Sandy Hook in terms of gun sales in America? Well, they skyrocketed. Way up. How do you feel about that? Uh, because people are afraid that their right to uh, own these guns are going to be taken what away. What about the right of those children not to be murdered? Well, exactly. There's well, exactly something, what? something has to be done about that. What do you do, though? Because actually three things were proposed. Well, A, a new assault weapons ban, a ban on, on high-capacity clips that were over 10 bullets, right? And also universal background checks. All three of those and things... And you think that's going to eliminate well, school shootings? I think it might help. I don't think All so. All three of them got thrown out. So the reaction from America to the worst school shooting in its history, unlike in Britain where we banned all assault weapons and handguns, mm-hmm. was zero. Not even background checks. In fact, the fastest selling weapon in America in the four months after Sandy Hook was the exact same AR-15 that Adam Lanza because used we to kn- blow those kids' brains because out. Because we knew it was being taken away from us. But what an astonishing reaction from the great superpower of the world. Why not? Why wouldn't you, if you know they're going to be taken away and you want one to protect your life and your family's life and your house as well as the police can, Mm. why wouldn't you want to get one before they're taken away like they were in New York? Like they were in the, in this state, you cannot buy one now because it's made New decided, York a safer place. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. It assault weapons. Look at the crime stats for assault weapons. That you look can't at the even murder find rates them. in New York. What about look it? at the gun crime in New York? Stop and frisk help with that too. Stop rate. and frisk help with yeah, that too. Exactly. Which is but, going away. But yeah. but in New to, York. Ta- to take the right of uh, a New York American citizen uh, to take his right 
to have own, an AR-15, to have an AR-15, a weapon that is preferred to oh, I say the preferred balls weapon to that right. of the, the founding fathers. You can't say balls I to that right. I just said it, and here's it's why: the, the founding fathers never intended civilians to wander around the streets of America really? carrying AR-15 really? killing How machines. Really? you know what they meant? You think they did? I think they saw weaponry advance in their lifetime enough to know that it was going to keep happening, you and they didn't put a clause in there you that said... You accept there should be restrictions. a musket was the cutting-edge weapon of the right. time. How long they did it take to reload a musket? They didn't relegate... But they Do you know knew. how long? It took a long time. How long? I don't... Mm -hmm. At least a minute, right? Mm -hmm. Nah, if somebody could do it pretty fast. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. seconds. Imagine how many people you would kill in a movie theater if you had to reload per bullet 30 seconds. But do you understand? They knew that technology was going to advance. They didn't put anything in the but Second how can Amendment your be that to says what? up until this point of, of uh, technology. Are you aware of the history of how the Second Amendment was interpreted? Legally, in this country. Oh, yes, believe me. So you're aware that for 95% of its lifespan, mm -hmm. the interpretation was not that an individual had the right to bear arms, uh -huh. but that an individual had the right to bear arms as part of a well-regulated militia. It's and you're aware of how the NRA hijacked the meaning of that in the mid-70s. Reagan became president. He was an NRA supporter. And as a result of that pressure, they began to pile on. The Supreme Court eventually said a few years ago, OK, it actually relates to individuals. It was hijacked by the NRA. Who supports the NRA? It wasn't hijacked well, it was. by you know the, the history, NRA. It was. No, because the history... First Who of supports mm. the NRA? Who supports the NRA? Who pays their uh, money? Uh, legal gun owners? No. Yeah. Well, partly a subscription. Partly, their, who, gives yeah, them the bulk their of, who gives them the bulk of their money to go after politicians who support gun safety? The gay I would community. Guess, uh, lobby uh, <laughs> groups uh, for... Uh, no, you're missing, you're missing their number one funders. Who is it, Piers? The gun manufacturers. Oh, sure. Why wouldn't they? They're in business. Exactly. So when Wayne Lapierre goes out after Sandy Hook and says, if only every teacher had been armed, if only everyone had an AR-15, guess what happens? They sell more guns. You don't think other organizations get uh, money from companies? Uh, how, do you, how, do you feel about the NRA, NRA? how do you feel about the NRA targeting politicians who support reasonable gun control? It's uh, never reasonable gun control, first right. of all. If they're targeting a politician, so removing, it's unreasonable removing gun control. Removing any type of assault weapon from civilian hands is not reasonable I don't, to you. I don't want that, no. Really? No, I like the idea that I am able to have the same weapon that the police have. But you don't, though, because they're, allowed, protect... they're allowed fully automatic well, machine guns. absolutely. So why are they allowed those and you're not, you don't uh, care? Again, there's a restriction on that. But which, you're happy um, with that restriction. I think. No, I'm you're actually not. happy not. with the other restriction. I would like to have a fully automatic uh, You'd like a fully automatic weapon. machine gun? Yes, I would. And you'd be comfortable with Everybody yeah. else in America having one too. If they are uh, trained and mm. uh, go through a background check, sure. And mentally sane or criminal? Um, that's kind of hard to. Uh, how are you going to know if thing? they are? Who they're not having background gonna, checks. Right? Who is going to? But how are you going to know without background the, checks? Well, I like background checks. I said that. You want universal I'm for background, background checks. checks? The I'm NRA fucked them. Though. That I like them. The NRA yeah, I know. I don't agree with everything the NRA does. Right. I'm not going to sit here and so just to agree with let's everything. Let's try and get to it. This is a good debate. Let's get to a point of consensus. Mm -hmm. You would agree with universal background checks. Yeah, I always said background checks are fine. I like that. What do that. you feel about the need to have magazines that have more than 10 bullets? Uh, I like a 30-round mag. Why? Well, again, the police don't go out with 10-round mags. But why would you need one? Uh, you know what? Uh, for pr home protection, I like you the think idea 10 of people are going to come? You're not going to hit everybody with it. And it sounds ridiculous. You go hunting, you go hunting that, with, say, I'm not, I'm not a 100-bullet really hunter. hunter. magazine? I'm not a hunter. But, but should um, hunters use 100-bullet magazines no, to shoot if deer? if you're going out hunting, it's a whole different thing than home protection. That's not hunting, though, is it? No. I'm not Why saying. can't a simple handgun be used at home to protect a family? As I've always said it in America, with the volume of guns you have here, I've never been against that. It could be. I'm known as this great, great gun grabber from Britain. I've always respected <laughs> the rights of an American to have a simple handgun at home if they absolutely needed it. But here's the other thing. Wherever there are guns in homes in America, there is a higher rate of gun suicide. Well, of, of course, because there's gun a gun crime. in the home. That's my there's, point. Yeah, well, I, I would say this, too. Uh, if you go out in the ocean, you have a much better chance of being bitten by a shark than if you're on land. It's it's one of those uh, statements that, of course, if there's a gun in the house, there's going to be a better chance of uh, somebody getting hurt with it accidentally or using it in a suicide. But many more uh, crimes have been thwarted that's rarely ever reported. Do you believe that, given that there are more and more guns being sold in America, do you believe mm -hmm. that within 10 years, if you have another 100 million firearms in circulation, the gun murder rate will be up or down? 
Uh, I think that has to do with uh, more to do with society than it does what do you hardware. What's your, what's your gut feeling, Telly? My gut feeling tells me with all the pandering that goes on uh, in this country, especially with the issues of uh, gang violence, mm. that if it keeps on track, the murder rate, rate would go up. But it has nothing to do with the hardware. It has nothing to do with the tool being used. It has to do with uh, a violent uh, society. On the same day as Sandy Hook in China, uh, a mm -hmm. lunatic went crazy with a knife in a school. Right. He stabbed 20 children. Uh -huh. You know the difference? Yeah, uh, like one kid died. No, they all lived. Oh, they all lived? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know it was a, a much lower than... So when you uh, say you can't blame the gun or the hardware, actually you can, because in China, those guns no, are banned. You can't blame the gun for the lunacy that makes these people do these horrible why, acts. Why wouldn't you, with every fiber... Are you a parent? No. Right. Any parents here? Okay. I've got four kids. Why wouldn't you? How many kids have you got? Two. Right. Why wouldn't you want to try and make it as difficult as possible for the Adam Lanzas, the slightly crazy people who, by the way, have not had direct treatment for mental health issues, so haven't been flagged up on the system. There were red flags Why on would, him. There were red flags, but they weren't on paper. He hadn't been into a mental institution. That same point, can I just jump in? That same point you're making, which is a valid point about why wouldn't you do this for your own children, the press should take that attitude when it comes to doing things that are encouraging future shooters like covering it the way you guys do. Yeah, but you're talking about chicken and the egg. You no, can blame the press afterwards. You can blame the violent video games afterwards. I'm, I'm not trying to... You guys are talking about guns. I'm only mm -hmm. saying the press has been reprehensible and as, as passionately as you discuss violent video games, you should be talking about the press and the way they have pushed my this kids, forward. My kids play some of these games, Grand Theft Auto and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I don't have an issue with violent video games if they are, as they are, hugely popular ever. I have an issue where I see a pattern of these young, at the moment in America, you have a pattern of young white mass shooters in their early 20s, loners, misfits, who happen to be always playing a lot a of violent video games. A drop in the games. bucket compared to black gang members the, in I the agree, inner cities. I agree, but they are completely different issues to tackle, and they should be tackled in different ways. No, because they're not completely different well, issues are, with, gun, with, with, with gun uh, uh, take grabbers. Chicago, take Chicago. They, they want to take all the, lump them together as gun violence and and take guns away from legal gun no, owners. No, here's what... Here's and by what's... the way, you have kids and stuff, and you like them protected. Do you have that armed security that goes around your, your neighborhood? No. What, what was that sign on your uh, supposedly on your front lawn? It was lawn? a link to the Beverly Hills De Police Department. Oh, I, was presume, it? I presume you don't have a problem with the Beverly Hills people being armed. No, no, being armed. Nor that's, do I. That's fine. Nor do I. You've never been protected by an armed no. guard. No. Anywhere you've gone. No. Oh, good, good, good man. The the uh, gun uh, pro rights people came to my house and they photographed that sign and they uh -huh. said I had private armed security. It was a link to the Beverly Hills Police Department. Well, it was. I presume nobody here would disagree with my right to be protected by the police. That's for, well, uh, that is your right. Well, do you or indeed. Beverly or indeed the military. And when it if comes to the military, wanna... my brother is a my brother's a British Army colonel. If you my will. uncle was a, a British Army major. My grandfather was a commando. I'm not a pacifist. I understand the power of guns. Mm -hmm. I personally believe that military weapons belong in the hands of the military or the police. Well, yeah, but that's what, what's happening here in this country. A semi automatic weapon is not a military weapon. It's a gun. An, an you want the right weapon, to have a machine AR, gun? An AR-15. You I, want the right to a machine gun? Sure. I which would, means if you have it, everybody else should have no, one too. I would love to be able. Or is to it just you that's going to have jump one? through whatever hoops it would take uh, legally to obtain it? And I know you can in uh, some places, Vegas. Uh, for one, you could well, shoot. Where do you think uh, all the gangbangers get their guns in Chicago? Where there's actually reasonably tough gun control? A lot of, a lot of them are um, stolen, and a lot of them 50 are 50% in, of all the guns that the police recovered in, in Chicago came from neighboring states. Yeah, and the second you bring it over the state line, it's an illegal gun. It right, becomes but, an illegal gun. But so we're supposed to take it away from the legal gun owners because... Criminals are taking them across no the lines. One, not, like wait a prohibition. Let me ask uh, like you, prohibition, no, Pierce. So it facile. wouldn't work. I am not. I'm saying that when they outlawed booze, not a booze single poured into the country. Let me ask you this. Yeah. Not a single person, me, President Obama, Michael Bloomberg, Senator Diane mm -hmm. Feinstein. Naming, naming all the good ones. Not a single of the gun grabbers yeah. has ever actually asked for a single gun to be taken away. Because they know it wouldn't work. They've so you tried. They would you, love it. Wait a minute. They would so you, love to. My point is you can't keep saying they're gun grabbing. They're not they taking anybody's gun, right? I would, I would love we are to talking have, about the type of firearms that should be gun store readily available. Let's go to the gun store right through. now. No, you can't. Me. They hit, took them. How many guns, if you took in every single one of President Obama's assault weapons ban proposals, how many types of firearm in America would still be legally available? Uh, probably quite a few. How many? 
I don't know. You're an American. I'm British. Come on. How many in your country? Why would I know if how many guns... Why would you know guns... more about gun rules in your country than not, me? I don't know. That's not a gun rule. This is a weird stat that you know that I don't, I don't know. I think it's weird to, to know. try to make it sound like <laughs> I don't I'm think not it's... educated. How many guns would be left if you took all the assault weapons? All right? It's it's a no. fucking math problem. I don't know the, the Let numbers. Let me ask to. you to try and hazard a guess at how many different types of gun, firearm, would be legally available 50 in America. 50 billion gazillion, no, Piers. No, be serious. I know the answer, but I'm not going to blow Shut it. Shut up. <laughs> Do you know? I have no idea. Have a guess. Uh, two. No, a lot, I'm how sure. Many, how many? Have a guess. 5,000. If you took all the what? What's the question? I'm sure. Uh, if you, I, I, if I you like... stripped out every single assault weapon that President Obama, under the plan that was put forward, wanted to remove from civilian circulation going forward. Not he's, trying to, he's trying to get from you to sale. say something, and then it's going to be this huge number no, that I'm so just many guns are you. still going to be available, yes. even if you take yes. the assault weapon. Well, so what? Well, what is the percentage? Yeah, well, so what? I have, have a guess. How many are, in, how many are available now? About 2,400, I think it is. Okay, I, so I'm going to guess... I would say the... 2,200. It's about that, yeah. I want to... Yeah, you're basically wow. talking Good two job. or three hundred types of gun Why can I removed purchase a semi-automatic weapon? Purchase, and these would be assault weapons. With Why can't I purchase a semi-automatic weapon because with a 10-round magazine? Because you want a machine gun, don't you? You've already said well, that. I want one. I can't have one. But I want a rocket want one, ship, too. Right, I can't have because one. Because there are reasonable restrictions. Yeah. And le there are reasonable. Have you fired an AR-15? Taking sure. Yeah. I own four of them. What is the difference? You don't really? want to know how, how many guns he actually uh, owns. What is, <laughs> I don't mind if you have guns. He has a lot. Well, of guns. I, he drinks heavily as well. I, <laughs> <laughs> and he kicks kittens. Yeah. No, I love my kitten. <laughs> Bad person. I love my. Can kitten. I ask Pierce something? Sure. As a as quote an outsider, what do you think America's uh, obsession is with guns? I think it's very cultural. I mean, you look at someone like Canada, which has a very high volume of guns, but has nothing like your gun crime rate. It, there's something about the culture of gun violence in America. But what is it? I think it's a combination of things. I think it's the cultural battles with my own, own homeland in the 18th century, where you had to fight off enemy territory with guns, and that was successfully achieved. I then think you had your own civil war, which obviously had a huge amount of gun violence and i think as a result of that guns became part of a uh, of a family home in many cases and people believe that their second amendment rights give them the right to continue to basically arm themselves to the teeth if they want to now my argument is that at some point there's got to be a better application of reasonable restrictions i repeat i'm not going to take anybody's gun away it's not about confiscation nor do I think when you have 300 million guns in circulation, you can't expect a family that wants a firearm, a handgun, to defend their family from having one. I respect that. That is what I think would be what the founding fathers intended when they wrote originally about this. But let's face facts. The Second Amendment's already an amendment, right? The original Constitution wasn't perfect. That's why there were so many amendments. To me... It is so vague, the wording of the Second Amendment, and can be so interpreted in different ways. Only if it is, you want to twist it around. Either way. Uh, either no. way. You can either believe, it as I believe... It was written simply. It was written simply. I, it, as I see it... Then why was the interpretation... Very, if it was so simple, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why was the interpretation until the mid-80s of this uh, uh, recent century... Why, for 170-odd years, was it interpreted to mean an individual's right to bear arms as part of a well-regulated Be militia? Because people Why is it now just because, an individual? Because people weren't trying to uh, take guns from people uh, up until pretty recently. What is a well-regulated militia, though? What is it? A well-regulated militia is, here's what it is, and especially back when it was written. Yeah. If you have your, your townspeople... People in your, uh, your, yeah. your your town, you want them to be armed so that if they have to rally up a militia to fight some type of right, uh, but they were they uh, were a trained private local militia, right? No, they were they were the townspeople, right? They were they the butcher, are, the baker, and the candlestick right, but maker. They are, but they are trained to use the farms. They work as a militia. They as work a group. as a, as a militia, right? But the militia, They're not individuals. The right? militia of that day was just the people in town mm. and their weapons Who is regulating being called together. Now that it's become an individual militia of individuals living in their homes mm -hmm. with individual firearms, who's regulating them? It would be the, the militia itself. 
Who? It's, there is no militia it, regulating you, you right? Should, no. You've got nobody no. regulating your use of firearms. No, because we haven't we haven't rallied a militia together yet. Right. We, there, there's no but need for point. one yet. So if but you, if need if you ever believe came, then, if you believe that the founding fathers intended mm-hmm. you to have a gun yes. as part of a well regulated militia, I ask you again. Where is that militia, and where are they regulating you? There isn't one now. Right. The, 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 the amendment says that the right to bear arms shall not be infringed so that if we need to put together a militia, mm. we already have the weaponry. Mm. That's how the, the, the uh, amendment is interpreted. But that's not how it was interpreted for 170 years. It says... A well-regulated no, militia the problem being with it necessary, is, no, a free state. This is where you're wrong. The, the right to bear arms shall not be infringed. Right. It means, but there is a comma in the middle of a sentence, which means you can take it either way. And the Supreme Court in 2008 or nine decided that it actually didn't mean what it had been interpreted to mean for 170 years. It actually meant an individual's right to bear arms no longer as part of well, a well-regulated militia. They, 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 but, but it's not whatever it is. It's a hugely important it's, point. If you believe, as I do, that the NRA hijacked the meaning of the Second Amendment to sell guns, then you've got to debate whether the interpretation the Supreme Court you think, affirmed in the late 2000s is correct. Why would you think the Founding Fathers, knowing that there is an army, there's a standing mm. U.S. army, why would they say, well, you have to be in a militia in order to have weapons? Because America, as you know, is a very big country. Yeah. So the idea of the standing army being able to get to some of the out places of America within weeks would have been unthinkable. You don't think the Founding Fathers... Now, we can drop a bomb or a drone anywhere in America Mm -hmm. in a matter of minutes, right? So the need to have a local militia to take on the British if we reinvade has gone. You also have, let me remind you, 5,000 nuclear warheads Mm -hmm. as a military firepower. America has half the world's military firepower at its disposal. Right. You don't have to worry about the British coming. You haven't got to worry about anybody coming. And you've got to worry even less about tyranny from your own government. Because oh, really? let me explain to you, <laughs> if they do come for you, your government, they've got 5,000 nukes. They're going to win. We, a few AR-15s it, is not going to succeed. It's not so about winning. So the tenets of the or, argument are ridiculous. No, it's, it's not. Because it's not about winning or losing. It's, it's a, 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 about a government having to kill its own people because they're armed with AR-15s instead of having noth- you're nothing. You're missing my point. No, you're missing my point. No. Having no weaponry if they and just doing to do it with that, a swipe of a pen. How are you going to defend yourself against nukes? You don't. If, if the United States has to start nuking its own people, I think it's over, Pierce. But I'm assuming, I think the country's done. I'm assuming if that, that gets to that point. Well, I would but say it's fairly it, done if it, they turn tyrannical. So well, exactly. it's a question of how they execute the tyranny. But if they have to take a single American life based on the fact that they want a tyrannical leadership yeah. over Americans, then they have to fight people with AR-15s, as opposed to just writing something with a pen uh, and, but they wouldn't and, know. And if they, if the any U.S. government wanted whatsoever. to turn tyrannical, it would use all the firepower it had, and, which and is then, nuclear weapons. Like I said, and then the government's over. It's done. Pierce I, has to go. We're yeah. not oh trying to interrupt. No, no, it's for, it's your for people, CNN. Your they're, people they're are, are freaking it's, out. It's, 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 it's yeah. for CNN. Leave. They're saying you have to go. It's, I've got that. But let me decide. I think this is a good debate. I Certainly. wish this debate happened like more the often. Debate. I think it's a good, important debate. I'm not trying to patronize people. I'm not trying to tell you how to lead your lives. I just want, in the end, to see less, fewer Americans get hit by gunfire and die from gunfire. I suspect we all agree with that. What we're debating right. is how you best achieve it. Exactly. Pierce's well. book is called Shooting Straight. We didn't plug this properly. Guns, Gays, God, and George we Clooney. We didn't even get to talk about the gays. I know. I would love to, or at least demonstrate. <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> Pierce looks very fucking handsome on the cover. And, uh, I, I enjoyed this very much. I uh, really liked I, this uh, a lot. I, I agree with a lot of what Bravo you're saying. Bravo to both uh, some, participants. Bravo. Yeah, that was a good debate. And you, uh, you get a lot of Twitter haters, man. I love Twitter. Trolls. You especially, love them? Well, especially when they are, are bad spellers. I like, <laughs> I like to correct them. Yeah. You oh, know, they yeah. say you're a moron and they spell it wrong, and it's like, great. Oh, the exactly. your thing is very. Well, uh, they forget yeah, to put rampant. the hyphen between more and on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you staying at CNN? We've yeah. heard the rumors. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm contracted to CNN until next September, um, which will take me up to four years, and I'm going to start talking to them in the next few months about the future. I love CNN. It's, it, to me, it's one of the great news brands of the world. I, as you read the book, it's in diary format. I've been at the center of some of the biggest news stories in history, whether it's, you know, the, the mass shootings that you've had, the death 
death of Osama bin Laden, the Japanese earthquake, the Arab Spring uprisings. It's a thrilling place to be when big news breaks. And I've also had the, the, the great honor of interviewing some of the most important people in the world, right. whether it's you know the Iranian president, Ahmadinejad, or Prime Minister Netanyahu, or the Dalai Lama, whoever it may be, Bill Clinton. You feel like at CNN, you're at the center of all the big stuff. And that's where I've always right liked to be. All right, Piers. All right, Piers. Come back and see us, will you? Anytime, uh, guys. Read I've enjoyed it. Oh. Important debate. Well, what happened? You don't want him back? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even look like what? You invite him back? No. <laughs> Thanks, Piers. Guys, I appreciate the time, seriously. Right, right Thank on. you very Piers much. Morgan, everyone. Yeah. The Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM. All right. Well, that sucked. To hear the Opie and Anthony Show five days a week, live on satellite radio, online on your phone or tablet, or even on demand, go to SiriusXM.com. Also, interact with the Opie and Anthony Show on Twitter, at Opie Radio, at Anthony Cumia, and at Jim Norton.